Hello and welcome to this Generation AM tutorial about editing and playlists. Generation provides you with a set of editing functions that might feel different from other systems. Keep in mind that the project needs to be in edit mode to make any changes. Whenever things feel locked in Generation, have a look at the mode menu. When the project is locked, the flashing mode menu will kindly remind you that the intended operation can't be performed. There are multiple ways to trim a clip, and the functions can be performed in both the storyboard and the play view. To trim a clip's out point, you can either left click on the trim out separator and drag with the mouse, or right click on the length field to enter a numerical value using the calculator. Yet another way is, to hold down the left mouse button on one of the numerical fields and drag to the left and to the right to change the value. Observe how all following clips ripple up or down in time to accommodate for the changes. If the footage is longer than the duration of the clip, semi-transparent half-height bars on the time ruler will indicate the head and tail. For rolling your footage within the clip's duration, left-click in the middle of the blue bar and move your mouse to the left or to the right. Alternatively, you can right-click on the clip in field and enter a numerical value, or click and drag in the clip in field itself. Observe how the relative media frame field changes when performing this operation. If during trimming, your clip becomes longer than the available footage, Generation will display a dark grey area where there's no footage left for that clip. The actual duration of your project does not change in this case. When encountering such an out of footage area during playback, Generation will display the last frame of that sequence as a still frame. To remove the empty space, you can either manually move the trim out indicator or right click in the time ruler and select fit. Keep in mind that the trim values relate to the clip itself not to an individual item in the version stack. In fact, this is one of the paradigms in Generation that might feel different when looking at it for the first time. A clip, which is any of those vertical slots, can host different footage of arbitrary length. The playback duration is defined by the clip, not by the footage itself. If you want to add a new edit to the current clip, for example to split longer clips into segments, position the playhead at the time you want the split to occur and press S. To add a simple dissolve between two clips, right click on the separator in the time ruler and select Dissolve on Off. The length of the dissolve can be adjusted by dragging the handles. To change the order of your items, Hold down the left mouse button on the item you want to move and drag it to its new location. The separator between the clips will light up to indicate where the clip will be placed. As you can see, the original location of the clip still remains valid and could be used as a placeholder. As with all other operations in Generation, you can undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. To cancel the operation, click the right mouse button while still holding the left button down. To move an entire clip with all versions to a new location, left-click in an empty area above the version stack and drag the clip to its new location. In this case, no reference will be kept at the original position. To insert a copy of an item or clip rather than moving it, hold down Ctrl while dragging. To delete a single item, select it and press the delete key. To delete an entire clip, select it by clicking in the empty area of the version stack and press the delete key. To select multiple items, hold down B for box select and left drag with a mouse. This works both horizontally and vertically. To select multiple clips, Hold down B and left drag in the empty space above the version stack. If there are many versions in some clips, you might need to zoom out of the storyboard to get access to the empty area, as described in the Play and Navigate tutorial. Another topic 
closely connected to editing are playlists. Playlists come in handy to try out different versions of the same sub. For visualization purposes, we have a reddish, a greenish and a bluish version of each clip here in the version stack. Let's assume the director comes in to quickly decide on any of those versions. Open the Playlist menu and select Create Playlist. The storyboard will dim and only the items of the current playlist are highlighted. The default playlist consists of the bottommost or current version of the sub. Playlists allow to select one version out of every clip that you want to play back. Let's rename it by selecting Rename from the Playlist menu. In the player, the selected versions will now be played back in order. To return to normal playback, select Deactivate from the menu. You can also clone, delete and conform playlists by selecting the associated entry from the playlist menu. Select Conform from the playlist menu and Generation will create a new version of every clip based on the selected items in the playlist and put that version onto the bottom of the storyboard. This concludes the editing and playlist tutorial for Generation AM. Stay tuned for more tutorials here on our YouTube channel and check out our website for an evaluation copy. Generation AM. Just change the speed you work.